as you said, when you've just got eyes on the disc, you lose perspective on the rest of the field. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to say, but you said it better, so <laughs> let's go with that. Um. <laughs> um, loving that Cook and Shallard are just, just having a little relax whilst chatting. Kick back a bit, yeah. It looked like both players were going for the... Yeah, I think... There's a high five there. It looks like the disc is going back to Leesk. A little bit of a heckle there. Telling telling Alex Lees to just do it again. But just make the throw a little bit better this time, maybe. I don't think he liked the advice just quietly, <laughs> but anyway. Wouldn't be the first thing that I've said to Alex that he didn't appreciate, so at least we're consistent. Violation. Violate, and they do. Elliot Cook with the disc. He's looking for Leesk. He's got Leesk in the centre of the field. Gladish on the far sideline. That's a great cut. Back to Leesk, looking to move the disc quickly. Big mark, Murray Ong providing an open space cut. He's looking, he's looking for Anderson. Anderson and Leesk providing a dump. There is a call of something. Leesk and Anderson both providing um, like a dump option there. Anderson went down the line, whereas Leesk came back up for the around. I want to see more coming out of the break side. There we go now. There's a there, break cut. Yeah, Cook there looking for the... Oh, Anderson. <laughs> Mammoth. Having a little bit of a late start to the game, but they're finally getting there. Nice moment. Yeah, Mammoth pulling a uh, St Kilda. Just didn't rock up for the first half. Actually, I don't want to talk about it. Next subject. Leesk and Cook doing a lot of work in the handler space on that point. Um, the cutters not quite coming where they needed them to into the break side of the field, which op which would have opened up the rest of the field a bit, most of the field a bit more for them. Um, so they sorted that out towards the like very late point, um, you know, point of that point. Uh, as Anderson again in that front corner on the top side of the end zone there, which is appearing to be one of the favourite spots to hit. Yeah, for sure. Probably a... Um Klukin catching the goal from AJ. AJ with an absolute laser right down the middle of the field to take half 8-6. You can tell Mammoth are a bit flat about just how quickly that point happened. You would like to see a bit of a grind, but they've got to remember they were gone for all money at the start of this game in that kind of second quarter, if you will. They pulled their fingers out. They put in a bunch of breaks. 6-1 is game over. 8-6, hey, you've got a game here, especially knowing that Fishwick had a bit of a disappointing game this morning. They, they were jumped to uh, Sublime 8-3 and lost. So they, they've just got to maintain a little bit of proximity, know that if they can stay there, that'll start ramping up the uh, the pressure on Fishwick and, and put it on them to, uh, to win it off their own bat rather than just cruise. So we're going to come back for the second half shortly. For now, and, and we are, for those who are tuning in, we are working on, we know there are a few technical issues, so we're going to try and get things restarted and hopefully bring uh, the second half to you live. Thank you. Uh, see you on the other side. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Doubters, doubters To those who don't believe This is the hour, hour You'll see That we don't make matters out of obstacles
course and step in on some roadblocks Skip over the lines that say we won't cross But you can't answer to nothing They don't want to see us coming Scale all of the walls they built to hold us We may be invisible But we'll be unmistakable Just wait and see And stepping stones and roadblocks Skip over the lines that say we won't cross But you can't Scale all of the walls they built to hold us We may be invisible But we'll be unmistakable Y'all now, this time I'm just sending shots Thought that I was some yes man I'm about to show y'all that I'm really not Me and mine was really on the bottom And we really up at the tippy top No bull, let's be talking flipping stocks Don't mess around or you getting got Can't see through it cause it's turned it out Yeah, ooh, I'm on the way Game time, game time, who wanna play? I showed up just to ruin your day Count my green till I'm blue in the face I don't wanna talk, please give me my space About to go ghost till I give me my brave Blow too fast And we're back just after half. Fishwick coming out now on defense. And Chodos has let it roll. And just while we do that, uh, and I've just seen more comments come through for Kev. So uh, Kev is okay. Kev is lucid. Kev is very brave. He appreciates all the thoughts and prayers. His boots are off for this game. So uh, we're not sure about the rest of the weekend. Uh, but he's currently sit up on a camping chair. He looks okay. Uh, he's got a smile on his face, but I don't think we're going to. We won't see him on the field for the rest of this game. Uh, wait and see for the subsequent days. Norton. Norton. He's got Joel Cook now. Thomas Vore. Slightly trans. It looked like a little bit of a transitional jump, but I think there was just a lot of mess in the stack. Chodos in the nice round, close sideline. Spielman now. He looks for the big, but he overlooks it. Looks it off. Thomas Vo on this close sideline looks to put it but doesn't. Spielman in a yards of space. No mark. Sam, he throws it up around Blady Fick. Joel Cook in the back of the end zone. That's the start you want if you're Mammoth. 8 7. Tommy Vo 
and uh, Cal Spielman, a couple of, well, uh, would you call them imports still? They've been playing a few years now, but previously out of New South Wales. Getting it done with the connection. Really well done from Callum there. Saw that there was kind of a breakdown on the dump. Cal, another one of the lefty club. Yeah, my apologies. I said it was a flick. It's not a flick because Cal's a lefty, so that's a nice ar arcing around backhand. That's all right. I'm part of the lefty union, so we've got like a, a <laughs> process with these things. I'm like, yeah, that wasn't a backhand. That wasn't a flick. <laughs> that's okay. Great field awareness. Great field vision. I should start a lefty union, actually. That's a great idea. Eight, seven. Mammoth. That was a break. That was a hold. Oh. Fishwick came out oh, yeah. on D. Um, and Mammoth did really well to get the upwind point, which is, as we know, the hardest one to get. So Mammoth now on D. And realistically, we're going to be emulating exactly what they did earlier in the game where they clamped down really hard on offside. this end zone line. Here we go. Free brick. First offside we've seen in the game here. Andy. And so what that means is when the pool goes up, the defense needs to be um, have every part of their body behind the that black uh, front of the end zone line. And if they are not, uh, the offense can signal the offside call, which is crossing their arms in front of themselves. And they can let the pool ground and then receive it and take it from the brick mark. I've never seen, I mean, we know crew from Canberra are built different, right? But, like, I've never seen an offside cheered so much from the Fishwick sideline. They were uh, over the moon that they got that uh, brick. I don't blame them, Andy. It was quite a deep pull. So it actually yeah, gives them a yards. little bit. It, yeah. it gives them um, a, a more advantageous position than what they would have had. And so instead of being maybe back in deeper the end zone now, they're still in the central portion of the field. Yeah, I think we saw one that was a brick, and I caught, I was like, that's a gift. Like, those first 15, 20 metres are gifts. Oh! Mammoth boys are getting big. They pushed hard, they worked hard, and they forced an option that just wasn't there, and that wind punished the flight path of the disc. Yeah, you're spot on. Throwing that outside in into this wind, it's going to push the disc right into the ground. Cook! Elliot Cook to Grimmond! We got a game. We have a game. They pulled it back eight all. So, Andy, is this where you thought we'd be sitting at eight all when, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour ago, Mammoth were staring down the barrel of a 5 1 deficit? 100%. Never doubted them. Knew that this was going to be a, uh, a perler of a game. So did the people at Alter TV. This is why it's the showcase game. Gave them absolutely no chance whatsoever. <laughs> I was already thinking about I was like, right, let's look at the team sheets for the Ellipsis game next. This is done. Instead, it's eight all. She's a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. And these are the games that you want to see on the stream. The games that have the big plays, the big bids, the big throws, the great comebacks. This is what we want to watch. This is what we metaphorically pay to see. Or actually pay to see, and that's a nice segue. If you do want to um, jump on and support the fantastic work that Ulti TV do, uh, please get across to the Patreon. Sign up for exclusive members-only perks. Dang, Gladys, she's probably going to come out with a massive pull here. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And, and on side. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> pull there. Shallot on the close sideline of bidding Murray Ong. AJ down this line. Oh, tight mark there. Yeah, really good mark. Go on, go on, go on. Oh! He overthrows Alex Young. Least picking it up now. And he puts it big. Go on. And he's got Tom Anderson. Mammoth with another upwind break, and then you take the lead 9-8. Absolutely massive point, massive D point from the Mammoth boys there to the, to the point here where Fishwick have called a timeout. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over there because I reckon there could be some good old-fashioned uh, fire and brimstone spray stuff come up here. Mammoth, uh, sorry, Fishwick need to do something to adjust right now. 
This game is all on Mammoth's terms. Andy's going to go grab some insider info from us there. Mammoth boys worked really hard on defense. We saw a massive mark there from Daniel Burrows. And that mark forced AJ to really put the flick out into, into the back space. However, and what you can't see on the stream is the way the wind is almost tunneling towards this close sideline and it pushed that disc straight into the ground. It was a low release. The disc went straight into the ground. Alex Lees had vision of the field, saw Tom Anderson streaming and popped it up. Separations of space there Tom Anderson had. Whistle there from the game advisors, signaling that time for the timeout is over. As we hear the Mammoth boys getting rowdy. How'd you go, Andy? <laughs> What's the goss? Oh, I could probably repeat about 20% of it. Uh, <laughs> so as we thought, it was positive. Um, yeah, I probably just can't repeat most of it. It was um, a lot of, lot of, fruit. Lot of colourful language yeah, was there. Fruity. But they said, they, he actually outwardly um, referenced last game. He said last game we rolled over like puppy dogs. I'm... Um, using a bit of creative license here, obviously. But he said, yeah, we ro rolled over like puppy dogs, not again. He goes, I don't care if we lose, but it's how we're, it's our ability to respond. We can't lie down like we did last game. Oh! How would you be feeling after that? Yeah, well, this is where the pressure starts to creep in. Now, now we're seeing unforced errors from, um, from Fishwick. Elliot Cook bringing it in from the far side, and he's been an absolute anchor on this Mammoth O-line. Grimman, he had Grimman looking in the back space. He's, he's also up. got Anderson looking in that back space as well. Oh! Trying to get big. But the way the forehand faded, you see it on the, um, the stream there. It's the angle of the forehand combined with the wind. It... it Faded over their heads. I'd also give Sandbridge a bit of credit on that one because he made Grimm and played it. Grimm could have gone out and, and kind of run onto it near the cone. But the fact that Sandbridge came in, it probably put Grimm in two months to go, do I need to go to my defender to contest this? And up going over their head. I think that's your job as a defender. If you can get the offense to Big try time. and bid early, yep. you, you're doing your job right. Big time. And it was Sandbridge, by the way, that was giving that, um, that f colorful spray. So... Jackson there, far sideline. There's a little bit of a poachy D through yeah. the centre of that there from Grimmins. See, if I'm Shellard, I want to be doing a... Oh, no. Oh. See, Shellard was kind of at the... Like, where you would typically have the front of the sack. He was the player that probably had a bit more space than he realised. But like you mentioned, they're playing a bit of junk. See, Shellard right here. So, AJ ended up throwing over the top of him. He wasn't even looking at him. But Shellard's probably more free in that situation than he thinks. So, Cook again now. He has Anderson streaming again, but looks Grimmond into the centre of the field for the dump. That's more discipline from Elliot. He knows he turned one, so just went straight for the dump. Oh, Osmond slightly overthrows Grimmond on the dump. AJ will throw this. Oh, oh there yeah, it is! <laughs> he's, he's, he's on tilt a little bit, AJ. That's not his, I think that's his second or third turn at this point. He's trying to try to hit Tim sharing deep. He's, he's also trying to generate something like okay similar to what they were saying in the stack like in the huddle if you're gonna go down go down swinging you know 100 percent um and the option was there the look was there the execution wasn't it just didn't float enough 
Elliot Cook looking for Tom Anderson. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shellard caught in two minds. Oh, they've done it again. Canete. Apologies if I mispronounced that one. Mammoth boys are getting rowdy. They are excited. Tom Anderson providing a lot of depth into the field with his deep cuts. Big time. Nice continuation. <coughs> Fishwick calling their lines now, so they're really shortening it. They know that if they don't do something in the next few points about this, they uh, might be looking at a really disappointing zero and two day after borderline dominating both teams in the first half. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't if uh, if it goes the way we it appears to. I wouldn't want to be in the car on the way home. I couldn't agree more with you there, Moz. But the Mammoth boys, I don't think they're going to take their foot off the pedal here. They're going to respond in kind and probably lift the intensity now because they are absolutely revved up. I don't. I don't. If you fish, you don't have a choice about this point. If they drop this one, you know that's an upwind. So then it's eleven eight with Mammoth then defending um, with the support of the wind. So this is kind of a bit of last chance saloon here, a bit of the Alamo here for uh, Fishwick. It's a very crucial point in the game. Big point in the context of the game. Kyle Hunter. And that's going to be a brickety brick, brick, brick. I don't want to say it's the worst pool we've seen all game, but it is the worst pool we've seen all game. Oh, big time. Oh, no, look, I think the downwind one was worse because that was a downwind brick. But Correct. it's up there. In terms of, like, just both both of those gave pressure release valves kind of thing, you know what I mean? As we see, AJ looks to get busy. He's now going to go downfield. They're going to move it back. Callum Sandbridge goes the open backhand. Gets to Young. Young back Sandbridge. AJ at the top of the stack. Back to Young. So it's a bit of small ball, a bit conservative at the moment. Phillips was going to throw one long, doesn't. Instead goes to AJ. A little bit of air under the disc. AJ does well, elevates to get it. Throws the wide around, lefty flick. That'll work at the moment. They advance it down. AJ's kind of cutting up the line pretty hard. It's not going to go. Instead, the second up the line goes. That's another good up the line cut. Right on the end zone line now. AJ goes front cone, can't get it. They retreat back to the dump. That's Blacklock. Blacklock, not much in a pivot, but gets out of it now. That's Callum Sandbridge. They've had to retreat to their brick mark. Up the line goes again. Another good up the line. That's Fraser Wigney. He's had two up the lines this point. Wigney moves it back. This one floats a bit. It works. Now, moving it out wider. So that's Young. Doesn't have a dump. AJ shakes and bakes. Get free on the open side. Veteran cut. Goes the open. Oh! And it's a goal. <laughs> To the outstretch, James Cameron. He could do nothing about that one there. Had a um, had a sniff. That that last throw was a nice bid. As we see the replay here. See eight. Oh, just bites too hard. Bang! Really good cut from AJ. Oh, that's O'Meara. So that's a learning experience for Amira. Like you're playing on AJ, multiple times can go. One of the you know is one of the best players on this team. But you've got to trust, even if it's a little inside flick, you let that go. You've got to trust your mark rather than getting done on the open side because that was really easy and it even gave AJ kind of a spot, a look anywhere he wanted on the field. So nice cut from AJ, but uh, a learning experience for his opponent. And that just shows the experience that AJ brings to a team. Those that the years of experience that he has in that little jinky shake and bake type of cut where he's absolutely sold him on that one and just created yards of space in the in the center of the field there, right on the Enzo door. Yeah, remember his first nationals when he came out wearing nothing but armbands, everyone going, Who's this slightly emo blink one eight two fella? Tore the I think it was the final or a semi tore it apart. Since then, 
been a great member of the Lefty Alliance. Welcome to have him. Can he lift Fishwick back into this game? It's a nice pull. Young like, to Cook. I like your critique of, po of, of pulls, Oakley. <laughs> Fine, please. Leesk pops it up. He's got Tom Anderson deep again. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Nice grab. How many times have we seen that one come off, Andy? Yeah, Anderson's starting to become a bit of a problem for them deep. Typically, you'd see like a Spielman or even a Dan Gladish um, catching those goals, but I think we've called Anderson's name three or four times now. We have. We've called his name a fair few times. He seems to be absolutely dominating that deep space on the field there. And he had a lot of separation to the point where uh, the defender on Dan Gladish actually peeled off the back and gave Gladish the under <laughs> to just to try, to try and contain that. But Anderson just had far too much separation. Good shot. Beautiful Good shot. put from Leesk as well. Had to elevate. It was going. Eleven nine. Mammoth still up. Not where I thought we'd be calling this from. No, not exactly. No, no. You're right. As we head to the seventy minute mark, plenty of time left in the game. Kel Spielman's going to be putting the pull up. The wind has dropped slightly. Yeah, well, not slightly. It's dropped completely. There's very minimal wind right now. Reflected in the pool too. Look at that. End zone. Okay, AJ moves it up through the middle. Works well. Hits Klukin. AJ's gone, doesn't come. Klukin goes up the line. A couple of dumps go up the line, has to go out wide. This is a risky Ooh. throw, it's going to work. It, he rode the uh, win to Svados. Svados doesn't have a dump, instead goes out wide. That one will work. Sandbridge to AJ. AJ, no one going deep for him. Someone goes now, he fakes the hammer. Sandbridge. <laughs> a little bit uh, laconic from uh, AJ anyway. AJ's busting up the line. Won't go. Instead looks for Sandbridge. Sandbridge goes up the line. Oh! He gets beaten. Has to turn around to grab it, but does. 9-10. Maintains uh, touch. He did it again, Andy. The little... I don't know how he does it. That little... He, 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 really? he did it again. Okay, so we've got to clip this because this guy's done this party trick twice. I have to ask him after the game. Teach me. I'm going to try and grab him now, yeah. Nice up the line. Just got past. We missed the celebration on that one. All right. Good response from Fishwick. Good response. Yeah, I think we're going to see a, uh, a pretty tight finish. Uh, Fishwick have stabilised coming out of that half time. They were able to adjust. I think they've... Oh, sorry, it was the timeout where they kind of said, look, we're not... Just don't roll over. If we don't win, all right, whatever. But don't roll over like they did. It sounds like a, a pretty... Um, Consistent theme. Yes. Well, it sounds like they did it pretty severely. It was almost... I, I'm told it was actually 9-3 and then Sublime got on a roll. So you, you don't want to do that. That's nightmare fuel, that stuff. So... Mammoth coming in the slightly downwind side of the field now, looking to capitalise. Cook with the reception to Yong. Back to Cook. Little give goes. A little bit of a poachy look there. It's a little, it looks a little bit junky, but a little, a little bit slightly junky, a little bit slightly poachy. Cook to Leesk. He's got Murray on going deep. Overlooks him. Very deep cutters there. Making the handlers work really hard. Oh! Yeah. And Leesk turfs it on his attempt to stay on Grimmond. There's an injury. There's an injury. And he's coming up. You want the main point?
handy uh, player to have replace your injured player. I'm not. No, I'm not saying there's anything untoward about. It. I'm just saying it's nice to have a nice big thrower like AJ on as you're shooting up wind for a break. Just saying. I'm watching you. AJ with the disc now. Fakes the flick. Sandbridge, nice inside-out cut. Moves it over. Doesn't have to concede too much ground. Throws the low flick. Oh, oh that one's gone. Oh. He's out. He's OP. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yep. Turn. Uh, so it was YC throwing that that one. Attempted. Cook lets one go. Oh. He's under it. Gonna have to, he's going to have to work the sideline as well. Oh. Yeah. The, um, that's a similar one to what we were saying before. Again, in that corner, as a, your offender, you know your defender's there. And so the defender doesn't necessarily need to get the D. They just need to get themselves in the way enough and get their opponent second-guessing enough. Did well to avoid contact as well. And that's the thing. The offense has to catch it. The D just has to try and out position or just get a fingertip on it enough to stop the catch. Sandridge now. AJ trying to get free off the front. Can't do it. He does well to get it to YC. AJ's gone deep, but he's going to be too deep because of the throwers. Upwind might not be strong enough on Fishwick. Nice. Gainer comes out. That's Fraser Wigney. Wigney doesn't like it. Goes instead to Sandridge. Gets in power position. The stack's a little bit too deep, so they're going to have a hard time shooting into that space. YC comes out. Lovely disciplined swing. And now takes some ground as well. Sandridge goes up the line, gets some contact on the mark, and that will be a foul call. He's not happy about it, but I don't think he can disagree with it. There was a little bit of argy-bargy there as he... Yeah, he didn't let him move across. Yeah, that's a foul. As the uh, the pivot came through, I believe the term is now accepted foul, Andy. Accepted. Okay. Accepted foul. <sighs> why, why keep the rules when you can change them? Um, all right. Sandridge. Oh. AJ. Let's one fly. Oh. Tip disc. Greatest. No. Gets the turn. Fingertips on that one there from Alex Osborne, and that's... He that's tried to catch it, too. all you need. <laughs> all right, so... Mammoth, again, having a second opportunity from the same point. They are playing a junk. It's a very poachy junk. Yeah. Cooks have got one free, top of screen. You can see him up to the left. Here's the one I'd be hitting, and they do now. You can see Grimmond on this side, in, but they let one through the middle and they can be off now. AJ shuts down any kind of flow as well as there was a bit of contact, but no foul called. Play on. Cook. Cook. Anderson's gone. Oh, AJ had to move out which uh, to adjust to Anderson, which gave uh, Grimmond the space, and Grimmond's now off. Grimmond now on the far sideline, getting close to the end zone door. Yong. They're playing match now. Playing match. There's <laughs> AJ's gone now like a stack of spuds. Seeing what's happened here, Grimmond. There he goes through, no vision, and just turns and takes out AJ's legs. Oh, come on, AJ. Yong brings it in, Grimmond. Straight into the bread basket. 12-10, Mammoth maintain that little gap. There's a basically an upwinder in it. Fishwick offense did really well to move yeah. the disc up the field. Um, they just got a little bit of end zone eyes and just tried to, to force it in. Which is the opposite of what we saw earlier where their red zone offense was probably the best part of their game. So it's interesting. And, and you've also got to give Mammoth credit to that because they're forcing a change in, in the, way that, uh, the way that Fishwick are playing. You are correct there, Andy. We saw really patient offense from the Fishwick boys early on, and now they're, I want to say erratic, but just becoming slightly impatient on that. Uh, and the Mammoth boys are capitalizing. Ah! 
So we're approaching the 80 minute mark of the game. Mammoth are up 12 10. The wind has dropped off again for this Mammoth up window, which I think they should be very thankful for. And that uh, just briefly, Frisbee's important, but uh, Alice C, uh, that we just saw on camera, is about to shave her head for charity. So we will bring you some of that as much as we can, as much as is appropriate. Uh, because that is fantastic effort for a great cause. As we see, AJ manages to throw his player into space. That's Young. Young marked by Chodos. Young, big step out round break. Oh! Milked, but it works. AJ free now. AJ grabs it. AJ looking long. Instead, throws the backhand gainer. Oh, oh Bo had it, but didn't realise. All he needed to do was turn around. Instead, Fishwick have the goal. It's Jack Donnelly with the goal. Tommy Bo, had he turned around, he could have headbutted the disc. He, he pretty much could have, and I think he almost copped a backhand to the face yeah. on that as well. So you see Tommy, he's followed his player out. He's then done the po he's He did the switch, which was the right and switch. And then you see there, he Sadiq, in the beak. Yeah. Sadiq provides the dump. He almost cops the follow through to the head. Some nice offense there from Fishwick. Brought it back to 11-12. We've got a game on our hands, Andy. Yeah, she's a ring-a-ding. And the action will continue after this game. We're going to go pretty much straight into a uh, top-of-the-table clash from the other open pool. It will be Ellipsis, who are four and zip, playing Sunder, who are four and zip. So that one will pretty much determine who goes top of the pool and will play the fourth place in the other pool. That pool a lot more straightforward. This one an absolute mess. Thanks to Fishwick and just being largely unpredictable. Taking scalps they shouldn't. Dropping games they should Yeah, they shouldn't. Going to so. be a, a little bit of a, a table triangle on that side of the pool, uh, Andy. If, I, I think. I think if Mammoth get up. I think it could be a four-way tie. A four-way tie. Oofed. I'm glad I'm not doing the schedule. Nope. Young receiving the pull there. Centers to Elliot Cook. Almost gets a run through from Sam Shallard there. Surveying his options. He jacks it. He's got Leeskin Anderson, but there he's. That's a rush of blood, that throw. They weren't deep enough for that. I don't think the option was there. I also don't think the need was there. You know, they've, they've kind of been able to work a little bit. It was early in the count. You had dumps. Fish, we did set up that that poachy, poachy zone that they've been playing again, but they've done really well previously at working it, so it shouldn't have been a problem for them before. Yeah. Um, given that the wind has relatively died off as well. Dan Gladish with the D! Old fella still got it. Sandwich is showing a bit too much of it. Bang! So now... Mammoth again with an opportunity to just keep that slight margin and that upwind advantage. Cook. Elliot Cook, he's looking for options into the space. He's got, oh! Huge bid! Oh my God! Sandridge gets it back. He poached off. He peeled off the front, didn't he, yet? He peeled off the back. That's big. He and read that like a book. And did really well to avoid contact as well. Fraser Wigney. Dump goes, doesn't get it. Still goes to Kachugi. Kajuki, sorry. Kajuki. Counts getting high. Oh, great defense there from Mammoth. Nice tight marks. Yeah, trailing edge away from Young. So. Alex Leesk walking towards the disc, surveying his options on the field. Tom Anderson's already setting up in that deep space. Grimmend. Oh. And he whacks the cone away. We need that. Bring that back. Whacks the cone away and skims the disc. I still like the other man's celebration. The, the, the I, yeah, one. we need to get that one on its own uh, on the field cam here. As we see this go up, Alex Lees puts a beauty of a flick up. Grimmend with separation. One hand grab. The great, the, I mean, the celebration notwithstanding. The, uh, is that a violation if he just goes and knocks the cone out? What's going on? Um, Grim did really well on that cut. You, you 
probably can't see it from this angle. But what he did really well was he put his defender back on his heels. So he ran towards his defender on a bit of an under, but just managed to get his balance back. And, and once your balance is back, it's really hard to then engage some forward momentum. Um, so that's why he looked so free, because he was able to kind of take his defender out of the game by putting him back on his, on his heels. And then he was off. Off to the absolute races there, Grimmond was. We're seeing uh, a lot of key players from Mammoth in the likes of their handlers, Cook, Leesk, doing a lot of work through that handler space. It's a shame about, uh, for, from a Fishwick perspective, um, that Sandwich's D didn't result in a, you know, that's the kind of thing that could lift a whole team. That D was a beauty. All right, AJ with it. Nice gain, and that's to Klukin. Klukin looks to AJ. AJ gets it in the middle in power position. This one's oh. gone, a backhand to Mikey Hatfield. Ooh. Gets uh, forced in, not a force out foul. <laughs> I think he took a little ride, a little uh, tunnel on the, on the uh, Mammoth player in. Nice throw from AJ. Had, had two. And this is a really nice throw from Klukin as well. You see AJ still in motion, throws it in front. You've got power position, so you've got a shot at anywhere you want on the field. Mikey, whoop, in you go. I think that is, yeah, is a force in there. He he, he got into the end zone just a for a little, a little bump. Yeah. A little bump in from the Mammoth defender. Nothing wrong with a little bump, yep. And we've brought it back now, 12.13 to Mammoth. 12.13 and four minutes to go as well. So this is where it starts to get interesting around, from a, like a, a fish rig perspective, when do you, if at all, put that crunch line on? The, the thing that Mammoth have been able to do for probably the last five odd points is hold the fort on the downwind. Have they been able to protect that and that's kept the two point advantage. So Fishwick need to try something, change something, whether it's personnel planning. This pool will help them because that's pretty deep coming in hot to Cook. And he moves it to Leesk. Leesk now in the centre of the field. Anderson on the top far sideline. He looks it, but he holsters. Leesk gets a little dishy down the line. Anderson there. There's like He hasn't got a mark yet. Still looking a bit poachy as the... Mandy sets in. Leesk is gone. Leesk is gone. Murray oh. only there in the centre of the field. Finds Grimmond. This will sit. He's got Conning deep. Oh! Whoa! Anderson tries to get scraps for Dozen and Sandbridge takes it from Basically his hand. Snatches it, yeah. Tries to initiate play very quickly. Kajuki. Sandbridge. Played an absolute blinder so far. There's a poach player that can come under now and, and gets met. Oh! How he kept that one, I don't know. Got Matt a bit of super glue. Oh! And then Shellard the... spills one. That grab. Yeah, that was great. Least picking it up on this close sideline. Takes a very few tentative oh, steps there and he winds up but doesn't put it. It's got Grimmon coming out into the dump space. Murray Ong heading towards that far sideline there. Conning. Yong. Not in is the call. Surveying. Oh! That is great defense from Fishwick the entire time. Bids. Too much on that one. Again, the rush of blood. This, this will be a consistent thing. There will be adrenaline and... Uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of nerves. And when you're in that space, Andy, where the adrenaline's getting really high, it's really hard to dial it back. Yeah, and that's why I think you do want to think about your lines and get experienced players, players who have been in this scenario before, are going to be able to maintain a bit of composure as well. Kajuki, nice break, nice cut. Not on it. Instead goes break side. Sam Shellard moves it up. Shellard, nice mark from Lees. Has to then abandon that. Kajuki, there's one going deep. He doesn't like it. 
Instead, nice free under. Ooh! Or a bit, bit of, of tension. contact. Yeah. Kajuki. Becoming pretty reliable in the in the backfield now, Kajuki. Goes to Sam Rich. There's fatigue now. There's fatigue now. Fish we have the flow. That Whoa. one's thrown out. Nice bid. But again, Fishwick, a big difference is that their their end zone kind of red zone offense, as we see, is a bit sore now. I think we might see an injury. Yes, we will. It was a bit of a gratuitous bid there from Blacklock. I think the disc was disc was down. Yeah, the disc was pretty much going to be down and hurt, but he bid for it anyways. Better offense there from Fishwick. They utilized their dumping and their swinging, which is what we saw earlier on. In that. Earlier in the game, we saw Fishwick dumping and swinging and moving the disc around backwards and forwards, which was where they created all their movement and their yeah. cuts. And they've brought that back again and have now got space. Once There's again, AJ coming on. Handy super sub. <sighs> so once again, Mammoth will have to work at the whole length. I mean, their end zone offense has been um, interesting as well. And the siren is just gone, so we've now hit time cap. So we'll finish this point and add one to the high score. I mean, it just puts so much on this because if then if uh, if Mammoth score, sorry, if Fishwick score, they're playing D, but from the upwind end at 13 all at universe point. 14-12. Well, Mammoth can have a few bites at it to, to close the game out. Uh, Grimmond with the disc. He dumps back to Lee, back to Grimmond. A lot of quick give-go movements. Cal Spielman now this close sideline. Finds Cook in the centre of the field. Grimmond, Grimmond working hard. Yeah. Lee, Cal Spielman's going deep. Bang. And there it is. There it is. Oh, is he going to get there? Great touch from Shellard. And that's all you need is you just need a fingertip to throw the flight path of the disc off. But he had one shot at that. Like, he had one go. He had to not just get to the right space, but time it perfectly because otherwise Spielman had enough separation that he was just going to run onto it. You can I see that. That's a great D. That's a lot harder than it looks, especially because it bobbled up. And the photographer at the back of the field just receiving that one nicely. I think that flick came out a little bit flatter yeah, than what Alex right. Leesk would have liked it to uh, because you saw that he had to fake the backhand and then turn pretty quickly and release the flick, which meant that it didn't get enough, probably the height that he was would have liked. Yeah, agreed. Shellard now comes out. There are two oh. with him, so someone's poached. Shellard instead opts for calm. Throws it to Kajuki and there's a big collision There is a midfield. big collision in the centre of the field. Alex Lee's holding his knee. But again, it's... Okay, no, I think that's more a pick, yep. Okay, so we're all good. Coming in, no count. Kajuki, count of one. Violation, Violation called. <laughs> so just a massive point in the context of this game. Everything on it. Kajuki with the disc, engages Shellard. Shellard goes up the line. Cook peels off the front, which means he can't throw it. He instead needs to throw the swing. It should be safe. It'll work. That'll go to Wigney. Wigney throws oh! the break backhand. Big bid, but AJ holds on to it. Gets back into. And now there's a little bit of chat. A little bit of niggle. Oh, Max Murray Ong. So just going to take a breath. Uh, they're all good. So it was just a big bid, bit of frustration. AJ wanted to get back to the mark, but couldn't kind of bring it back in bounds. So probably good for all players. Just take a breath. AJ looks at the low flick. Can't throw it, can't get it out. Concedes a little bit of ground to Sandridge. Sandridge fakes the flick. AJ gets into the space. Instead to Wigney. Wigney to Shellard, getting a bit more of it. So Shellard and Kachugi, as I call him his name, there he is. Kachugi, sorry. Oh. AJ gets one that wasn't the most convincing throw. Just needs to show a little bit of composure. Lovely up the line from Kajuki. Now, this is where they've thrown it away in the past. So, can they maintain a little bit of patience? Oh, there's an injury yeah, call there a, from Max Murray Ong. That's a cleating, that is. And it's going to go back to AJ. Those are painful, Moz. They don't tickle. It's not fun. It's not fun. And it's not cold, but it's not wine. Like, you, you feel that in any kind of cold. 
You feel that that much more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's not in a good way. I think it was friendly fire as well. I think AI, it, there's, there's two injuries oh, here from... Oh, yeah, double change. ...from Mammoth. I think it was friendly fire there that they clipped each other. And I think Conning um, went over on his ankle as he stood on the foot. <sighs> All right. You just get the feeling that this is the game right here. AJ with it. Engages Sandridge nice and early. Sandridge can't get free. Great mark from... Uh, from Osborne. Gets it to Wigney there on the end zone line. Don't try and win it. Just... Oh, Kajuki oh! gets the goal. And they've got the upwinder. That's what Fishwick were looking for. They finally brought the patience. So game to 14 now, Moz. It's universe point. This is Fishwick's fourth universe point match. Are you serious? Yes, fourth universe point match. How many games have they played? Four. Don't know any other way. They like to live life on the edge. Mammoth slowly walking back to the line. There's going to be some big words being said right now. We need to take this to the, uh, the ultimate Frisbee family around Australia. If you know, if there's a stat around any of the nationals played in the history of the sport where four games from a team have been decided all in universe point, I'd like to hear it. Four games, four universe points. Uh, they are going to burn one, so I'm absolutely going to get around uh, Fishwick because they have good demons and bad demons, right? Yesterday, good demons, if that's a thing. Today, not so good around around uh, Sublime. So this is going to be really interesting to see what the message is, as well as if they call lines. Absolute crucial, crucial point, that last one for Fishwick. <laughs> Mammoth coach, Sue Monroe. Sowing some seeds of wisdom there out onto his team. I can imagine he's going to be calling the absolute crunch line because why wouldn't you? There's no no other time that you do it. And you're getting the insight on the Fishwick boys. Here, Mammoth getting loud, getting rowdy, asking for a big sideline. This is it. This is the crux. And they've called out Cook, Norton, Chodos, Grimmond, Vo, Gaunt, and Spielman. The seven names. I think we're trying to take this one out for them. They're going in the slightly upwind field position. Not the most advantageous uh, spot to be, but they've done it before and they can do it again. And you're just coming back after hearing hearing all the Fishwick insights. What are we going to expect here, Moz? Look, again, not a lot I can repeat. Um, but the part that uh, they kept coming back to is that there are 17 fish on this line. 17, and, and you can hear that because of, listen to that sideline. You can hear it. Everyone on the sideline, they want to keep this whole team engaged. Massive pull. Whoa. Shallard. Save the best till last. Norton to Chodos. He looks to the break side. Cal Spielman on the top, near the top sideline. Chodos providing a jinky to Cook now. He's looking straight down. He's got Grimmond on this far side. He's got Vo deep. He doesn't put it. Oh, Gaunt and Norton there in the center of the field trying to get the same disc. Chodos. Fish need to get more aggressive. There's too many poachers, too many free unders. Norton goes for it. Vogue gives him a little jinky. He looks, he looks off Norton. Yeah, I thought that was going. Chodos there. He's looking break side and he puts a nice break out. Grimmins running onto it in space. Bit of a stagnant stack. They're moving through the handlers. Oh! Oh! Looks like there's a He's knee to the knee. That's a big and cramp. Caused a cramp. That was good. I thought that was a. Um a patella for a second, the way that that knee kind of yeah. moved. Yeah. Having dislocated a patella before, Oof. I can tell you it ain't fun, but I don't think that's what it is. No, it is. No, it is a cramp. It's a cramp. He's getting a nice stretch out there from teammate Alex Lee. I would say I don't think that was a fake from Grimmett. I thought he oh, is. He's getting 
literally carried off the field yeah, right he now. Look, he looks like a, ha a human hammock. Um, oh, I think that was a game-saving bid. I think Grimm would have would have shot that one if not for the dive out on the on the um, on the mark. So a bit of carnage for uh, for Mammoth. They've had three, if not four, injuries in the last two points. Some of it friendly fire, as you said, the cleating and the ankle. And obviously we had uh, Big Kev at the start, much loved. Uh, I've got an update on Big Kev. He's still on the chair. He's still looking very brave and appreciates all the thoughts and prayers. So we've got Alex Leesk there with the disc. He's uh, subbed in for Grimmond. So I think there's a discussion on surrounding what's happening with the stall count. Potentially, I don't know if there was a call at all. Uh, Grimmond's up, though. Grimmond's now standing. Cramp has, has gone. Get some pickle juice, mate. Okay. Leesk, uh, speaking of handy injury subs to come on, Leesk, not Leesk bad. is, yeah, definitely one of them. So, just there is no stall count. He also fakes the around. Hits Norton on the inside as a beating Fishwick defender. Oh, inside to Chodos. Back to Leesk. Oh! Tries to force it in. Fishwick absolutely run deep. Sandbridge there. Back to Jackson. He's I'd calling for some, some unders. Well, he's calling for unders, but I think he's also calling for space deep. He's, call, he's saying, come under, get out of that deep space. I reckon he wants to put this. He's got it at the halfway line. Sandridge now, marked by Chodos. Fakes the big backhand, then goes flick. AJ goes up the line, Shellard back as the dump. Sandridge holds onto it. The count is getting high. He gets a bailout to AJ. AJ looks flick, marked by Cook. Comes through. Ooh. Everyone slowed down. The disc stays with Fish. Sandridge had an absolute blind and gets to AJ. The stack is doing absolutely bugger all. AJ has to engage the jump, looks at Sandridge. Manages to come Ooh. out big bid, half given, to pulled out of it. Svardos moves it across. Alex Young. AJ goes across, has to be thrown. It is at the back end. Ooh. Cook half a bid. AJ with it. Throws the around flick for the goal. And Sam Shard, they have won it on Universe. Oh my gosh. That was an amazing point from Fishwick. They gone full circle and brought back that absolute patience that we saw from them in the early part portion of the game. Sandridge, AJ, Shellard, especially on that point, getting it done themselves. There was a big D, it was either a drop or a D on the end zone line, but Mammoth had a shot. I think it was Leesk to uh, Cook. Either a little bit of a drop or just got a, a hand in there. Oh, it was a hand block, I think. It was a yeah, was. a little bit of a hand block from Blacklock, I believe. Ooh. But massive, you see this one. And that's a really nice throw, that around flat flick, half a bid from Cook. And then AJ just so patient. Shellard just got in behind Leesk, toes it in. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. He was looking around going, is that it? And you can see there from Leesk, Leesk realized that the throw went up. And it was already gone in front of him. He couldn't do anything about it. It's the la it's a horrible um, place to be when you realise that you kind of what's called the blind turn because again he was looking at the disc, not his opponent. And when you you can feel that they've gone, you're like, oh no, please no. And then you can all you can do is hope that they don't see it. So we're going to stay with the feed. Usually we would cut away, but we've got a very good reason and a very good cause. Score update, by the way, Fishwick 14, Mammoth 13. Thank you for uh, the feedback in the uh, in the chat. Feedback's a gift. So the reason we're going to stay with this is that uh, we, you would have heard earlier in the feed, earlier in the call, we were talking about Alice C, who has done a phenomenal job of raising $1,200 so far. Has a goal bigger than that. As we're going to see Alice C lose the locks for the world's greatest shave. Here we go. You'll see, if you scroll up in our comments, uh, Alter TV have dropped the link in. I'm going to do a fair bit of work through and it. There there's it the first one gone. Let's see. Getting the locks cut for World's Greatest Shave. has raised $1,200. Has a goal, I think, of either two or two and a half. So please scroll up through the chat. Or we've just posted it again, again there. Donate for the shave. Put it in Ziploc bags. 
And at this point, Alice is wondering if this is such a good idea. It is a good idea. It's a great idea. Raised $1,200 already. I'm confident we can get that up closer to two grand by the end of today. A bit of a crowd started to form around her as well. Shocked crowd, not too sure what to do. I don't know what the uh, cling wrap bag's for. Keeping it for later. Potentially donating it. Donating to, uh, the hair, yeah, could, okay. Could be potentially donating the hair. Even better. Does have a bit of a crowd watching on. Great cause. Well done there to Alice. Uh, do you think it's a line? Are they lining up for are this? Are they or? lining up to get theirs cut I as well? I don't think they are. Gonna have to get. Are they gonna have to get the buzz, buzzers out now, Andy? And well, I hear that Mike Neal has actually volunteered to shave his head as well. That's it. I think that's the last, the last of the, the plats, gone. And now the clippers come out. Now the real stuff starts. So we, we have uh, dropped the link in. Please donate for the shave. Looks like there's a bit of confusion on, on what direction you shave in. Not the hardest thing, Clippers. You just kind of turn it on and roll them over. But obviously this is uh, new to a few people, uh, Alice included. And there it is. They're starting... Good to see a massive smile on her face with this still. Yeah, she's like, she can feel it. You can hear it now. Zzz. Uh, look, I did say there wasn't a wrong way to hold clippers, but that is actually the wrong way. <laughs> 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 you are doing it. Uh, okay. The important thing is, it's got some uh, great donations for charity. Any risk of doing it easy? <laughs> Just back briefly on the game. Fishwick are calling it. They are only going to play universe points to the final. Mike, if that happens, I think we just stick them full time on this field. Because if uh, all those games are like that, we'll be in for a treat. Mammoth, understandably, flat as a biscuit. They know that uh, they let that one slip. However... That was a long game, and you've got to remember right at the start, 6-1 down, 5-1. Five, five, five one. One. That game was done, so credit to them for pulling back in front, having control of probably majority of it in the end, you'd say. They did. They did uh, really claw that one back and That is a low up. clipper. Sorry. Oh, that is a... That's a, a buzz cut. That's, is that, is that, is that what you call one. a buzz cut? Yeah, there's a, that's a low clipper. That's a, that's a number zero. It's going to be like almost when you go and, you know, scratch the top of their head. Yeah, that's real jar head stuff. I didn't bring my beanie, but I'm going to bring it for her tomorrow. If she doesn't have one, she's going to need one. Otherwise, uh, Alice is going to experience just uh, how fresh a Ballarat morning can be <laughs> tomorrow morning. Being done very diligently as well, very methodical. I'd almost like to see them shave a little mohawk. I was about to say just re for reverse mo. Yeah, just just for fun. Why not? If you're going to get rid of it, just just pull a little mohawk in there and and make it fun. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to go either side, so they'll go with like a pretty uh, intense fade <laughs> a very intense fade so we're going to swap streams in a moment uh, we have as I mentioned a top of the table clash with two undefeated teams it's Ellipsis Men versus Sundar Slice, Slice thank you I always get them confused I don't care who, like whatever Sunder Slice both teams four and zip this will be for the top of the seed in that pool the other pool's a mess. We'll work it out. Probably a four-way tie. But join us on the, other f on the other feed in a couple of minutes. Until then, thank you, Oakley. It's been great. We've watched an absolute ripper. Thanks, Mars.